from Monster. Here we go, bring you the final Division One finals here in Ohio. We have Ben Bazelli of Wadsworth wrestling Billy Vaught of Brexville Broad Heights. Vaughn beat beat Bazelli a week ago in their district. Vaughn incredibly tough to score on. Bazelli won a thriller yesterday over Max Gladstone and ended up taking third. Wadsworth already has the team title wrapped up with that win at 215 by Nick Tavanello. Bazelli would like a title of his own. He's a senior. Bazelli also a standout football player as an offensive lineman. Certainly has the frame for it. We have two real big heavyweights here. Kind of your classic, classic thick build. Um, versus a wrestler like Rose we saw in the last week class, that real long and lean. Also like Gladstone. This is just a good heavyweight division here in Ohio. You know, between these two, Gladstone, Kuhar from St. Ed's. You know, really a lot of depth up top. There's certainly a lot of places you would like to see. Mazzelli shoots a double, nothing really doing. We're under a, under a minute to go here in the first period. Headgear problem on Vaughn. Oh, the, I was right the first time, got a blood problem. Looks like he nicked up a little bit above his eye. Zelly will get words of strategy and encouragement from the Wadsworth coaching staff. He's got to be about on cloud nine right now, having just clinched the team title. Get some blood off the arms of Bazelli. It seeps through. It looks like Vaughn's headgear may be what's cutting him. It's kind of might be a scratch or so from that. Obviously, there's a lot of head-to-head -head positions here at heavyweight. Now we're back to the action. Under 40 seconds to go. Ben Bazelli and Billy Vaughn here. And the last of what has been just a great night of finals matches. You know, a lot of times in finals, you'll get kids wrestling tentatively, kids not trying to make mistakes. We get a little flurry action. Kids, but kids not trying to make mistakes. Kind of the spotlight intimidating people. Not in Ohio, at least on this map. These guys really have taken it to each other, wrestled well, a lot of action, a lot of excitement. You know, it's nights like this that I think really, really promote the sport. I hope. If you're watching this, you tell other people to come check this out because this is obviously, I'd say Ohio's a, clearly a top two state in the union along with Pennsylvania. And these have been, just, the way wrestling should be has been this final so far. As Vaughn's cut again, he's going to force me to try and talk through more dead time. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to cover this here. Ohio's, I think Ohio's certainly put on a top-notch production. This has been my first, my first experience of the Ohio State Tournament. Actually, my first state tournament outside of Pennsylvania, and they certainly do it right here in Columbus. Now they're going to tape up the head of Vaughn, try and get rid of the blood time once and for all. I don't know if I can necessarily call it a shocker in winning the team title since they've beaten Ed's head-to-head. -head. I mean, it was recently in their district last week, but still, you thought maybe the Eagles' mystique would do wonders for them out here. So I think that's, anytime you're topping on a giant, you're not just trying to beat the team, you're trying to beat that name, too. I think Ed's has had an intimidation factor in Ohio for pretty much forever. Wadsworth at least for one year has broken that dynasty. And now Bazelli's trying to add icing on the cake and get his own individual oh, title too. Individual awards of the 189, 215, and 285. Kind of 
a classic heavyweight at match so far. Lots of hand fighting. Kind of tough to move either guy out of the way. Bozzelli tries to pull back into the center. We've got coming up on a minute to go here in the second. Bozzelli leads 1-0 on the strength of an escape. Vaughn's tape, I think, has immediately come undone as we'll blow things dead. Bozzelli has had to deal with a lot of blood time so far. Certainly his match last night was real uneven because we had, kept having to stop things to plug his opponent's nose. Here we've already had two stoppages. It certainly takes an amount of mental toughness to be able to fight through those dead periods and stay focused for an extended period of time. And those kind of paw at each other's legs. No real offense being generated. 35 seconds to go in the second. Vaughn trying to suck him in. Both these guys are just real tough to score on. Under 20 to go here in the second. This has all the makings of an overtime match. Neither guys really can get any advantage in ties. Kind of hand fighting the stalemates. Like I said, classic heavyweight bout. Zelly kind of pause a couple times. Obviously, you're not going to want to change levels and shoot lower. You got, you'll have a ton of weight pressing on you to try and finish a shot like that. If a guy's going to score, they're going to need a clean, clean look at a leg and finish quickly before either wrestler can use their size to negate, negate the offensive opportunity. Vaughn goes underneath to start the third. And we've got two minutes left here in the Division I state championships. Bazzelli covers and off the win, and, and here we go. I just believe Bazzelli can ride for the entire two minutes. That would be the most exciting way he's going to win a title. He's got a nice ride going here. He's trying to pick up the ankle of Vaughn. Now draped across, and you've got to think, even if Vaughn does escape, having Bazzelli, all that weight of Bazzelli leaning on him here for now what's been about 30 seconds has got to take your gas tank down. This is taking a lot of energy just to even be on a base, let alone trying to work up. You gotta think Bazzelli could have a conditioning advantage as he's just wearing down Vaughn underneath him. Vaughn still trying to work up. Bazzelli's doing a good job of controlling his hips. If, you, if your hips can't move, you can't move. Bazzelli's just draped all the way across him. Now we've got a stalling on bottom as Vaughn is just not active. And Bazzelli's being, especially for a heavyweight, real active on top. I've been saying, I said it in the last match, I've been so impressed with the riding of big men here. You know, I think that's often we think of heavyweights as dancing bears, work on their feet, one takedown wins, as they just cut each other to start periods. We've got blood time again, but. I think both wrestlers in last match rode well. Bazzelli has rode well, rode real well here so far. Gladstone exceptional from top. Your third place are at heavy. Just it's been a pleasant surprise seeing that here in the state tournament. And certainly a skill that's going to translate to the next level if these guys choose. These guys choose to wrestle in college. Looks like we're all taped up on Vaughn again. Almost more importantly, the blood time gives him a little bit of a breather from being out from, from being under Bazzelli. Bazzelli's ridden him now for over a minute. We've got 54 seconds to go. But I think in addition to getting his cut cleaned up, Vaughn might have gotten a little wind back. Still breathing kind of heavy. But I didn't know Bazzelli last night said he thinks he has a conditioning advantage on a lot of these wrestlers. And unfortunately, that conditioning advantage may have been negated. But it's important for Bazzelli to stay sharp here. It's a lot of time to stay focused. We're almost at 10 minutes of real time in this match. Which is, I think, more than most wrestlers are used to. 45 seconds to go now. Bazzelli's still riding tough. 
cross body. See if he can ride. Said early, almost jokingly, if he can ride this two minutes out, he's gonna win the win the hard way. But he's been doing just that. Vaughn's first real escape attempt. Under 30 to go. Mazzelli's gonna try and lift and return. And he doesn't do it. So 20 seconds to go, we're tied. You have to wonder where Vaughn's conditioning is after being under Bazzelli for so long. It's 10 seconds to go. This has overtime written all over it. Nothing really doing on our feet. Four to go. Three, two, one. And we're going to overtime. Our first overtime bout here in Division I between Ben Bazzelli of Wadsworth and Billy Vaughn of Brexville. Both wrestlers in a tie. Kind of hand fighting to a stalemate right now. Now it's Vaughn working on, working on the collar of Bazzelli. Bazzelli breaks free, trying to get himself a fresh start. 39 seconds to go here in overtime. We're tied at one apiece. Which certainly is the expected outcome at most heavyweight bouts. And one takedown affairs. If we do go to the 30 second ride out periods, I think Bazzelli has a decided advantage. Vaughn didn't even try and ride Bazzelli, whereas Bazzelli rode for close to two minutes. So Vaughn, I think, if he wants to win, is going to have to get a takedown here, at least in his best shot to win. Five seconds to go. We're going to go into the 30 second tie breaks. As I'm joined by Zeb Miller now. Billy Vaughn, a backup, a career backup for the last three seasons. Jeremy Johnson was the starter. He was the state champ in Division I last year at heavyweight. He also won Fargo. Billy Vaughn was his backup. Now he finally gets in the starting lineup. He's in uh, second overtime to win a state title for Broadview, Rexville Height, Bees. Bizzelli. And you see, that's what we provide you with the flow wrestling. Great insider, encyclopedic knowledge of some of the best states in the country. Got her, there's the stall warning. Had there's the stall warning. Bazzelli had to return. He had, there he does. 15 to go. He said Bazzelli rode him for close to two minutes in the third. And really has a decided advantage. The stall He's work the body. Five seconds to go. And if Bazzelli can ride out this period. there. Bazzelli can ride out this period, that would be huge as Vaughn did not even attempt to ride Bazzelli in the second. And if he can escape and escape, not stall and not give up a takedown, he'll be your state champion. Big Ben, man child. He's been the same size since the ninth grade. Grizzlies already got a team title by a half point, regardless if Bazzelli wins or not. Yep, at this point, just icing on the cake and a nice cap to Bazzelli's career if he can win a title here. The team title is locked up after Tavanello's exciting win. Oh, he breaks Ooh, free. No, 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 no escape awarded. Bazzelli stayed wrapped around the leg. Coach, Obviously, he'll go under as his coach. Jones, at him. Former, that's Bob Jones, former two-time Wadsworth state champ at heavyweight. Played for the Giants in the NFL. Important. And the Penn State defensive end. He might know a little bit about winning. And I'll tell you, that I think is Wadsworth's ability to get football players to wrestle. You've seen three standouts on the gridiron as well as Mamad at the last three weight classes. You know, I think most schools would kill to have superior athletes at the upper weight classes. I know in a conversation I had a few days ago about Texas, you know, if you can convince football coaches, obviously there is a translation. Ben coming out. Well, he's Billy Billy trying, trying to the turn the face. He's got There's your escape. So now, Bazzelli has to warm him off for 20 oh, seconds. He's oh, he pancakes him. Oh, he's going to win. 10 seconds to go. Just hang out, Ben. You're a state champion. Four to one win in double overtime for Ben oh, and he's Four going chance. crazy. Four chance for the Grizzlies. Wow. 
Mazzelli Brook. Mazzelli gets his hand. It's fitting, and we've had such good matches all night that the last one goes to double overtime. Mazzelli gets a huge hug from his coaches. Congratulations, young man. You're a state champion. Overtime. Coach G.